want to relax Hispanics and Native Americans. Your true nationality is who you are according to the Bible. To raise up your families in the right way you're supposed to. For, for being a, 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 an African American, for being a, a Hispanic, for being a Native American. Those, those, those words are not in the Bible, they're not found in there. We are the Israelites the Bible speaks of. You let you women you're out here quit being a homemongers and whores. Because y'all out here, you know what you're looking for? Y'all ain't looking for boys, that's all y'all doing. We want to take you home, buy you some cotton candy, and ban you and dismiss you. That's it. That's all that's all these women, the young boys and young women wanna come out here today to be homemongers. They wanna they wanna they wanna buy you and give you put you put you on the ride, go into the wall, and take you home and ban you and dismiss you and come back the next week and do the same thing over and over. Why? Because you haven't been taught by your woman, your, mom, your mother and your father how to dress, how to act, and how to walk. Because they don't keep the commandments of God. What you got? The book of Proverbs, chapter 7, verse 10. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot, and some title of heart. A tire of a harlot. That's how you know the tire of a harlot, because a harlot is a, another another word for a, a hoe or a whore. Read. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. She is loud and stubborn. That's how you can tell a whore. That's how you can tell a hoe. Because guess what? So she's a loud woman, a loud mouth. You black and Hispanic women love to be loud. Right. Y'all don't want to be soft anymore. You want to yell back to your man. You want to yell back to, to, to your boss. You want to yell, but guess what? You don't yell back to the white man because he's God to you. He's God. Y'all think that God is a white man. He is not. God is black according to the scriptures. Then it raise back and come back to your nationality. But you want to be, you, women, women got to be loud. Technically, it's Hey, what is come, here. come over here, let me see, because that's new to I'm me. I'm at work right now, I can't, but okay. it says that Where? Jesus Where? was an olive skin no, color. There's no word in the Bible that's found, no word in the Bible. I'm, I'm, uh, if you're working right now, I'm going to tell you what, what it's in the Bible according to Christ, what it looks like. Because guess what, there's, there's two types of olives in the world. Ma'am, excuse me, ma'am, there's two types of olives in the world. There's a black olive and a green olive. So, you think God was walking around green, a, a green skinned? Or was it a black olive? It never, it never says that anyways. Let's see what it does says. Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revelation. Here's the revelation of Jesus Christ. What does that mean? The revealing of Jesus Christ. Let's see how Christ looked like. Because Christ had a color. He was not no uh, pale-skinned white man. Read. Verse 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool. His head and his hair were white like wool. The hell with Allah. The, 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 what nation of people walk around with wool and hair today? What nation of people have hair like a sheep? What people uh, uh, have a uh, so-called Afro? What the so-called blacks and, and Africans? The so-called, they have, and, and that, that's what, what it is, it was, it was, the texture was like wool. His texture was like wool. But our women want to what? They want to iron out our hair. They want to put, want to put perms in our hair. They, they hate themselves. They want to be like the white women. That's right. With white flowing hair. That's what they want to do. They don't want to do with the, with the afros. They hate the woolly hair. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool as white as snow. He had white woolly hair. She said the gentleman over here, white and woolly. So Christ's hair was woolly and it was white as snow. Let's read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet. And his feet like unto fine brass. As if they in a furnace so his feet your feet are the same color as your legs and the same give me that sign brother pull, pull, that, pull that sign up brother the, sign, no, the, the, the image of the, of the beast 
This is the image of the beast. The Bible describes Christ as a woman's texture of hair. It describes his, his feet like fine grass with burning furnace. Christ was no white scale parent. Christ was a black man according to the scriptures. You have come back and serve your father. We're following the other nations and breaking God's commandments and thinking that you are, are equal to him because you're better than him. God has set you up to be better than the other nations, but you want to be equal to them. You are Greek on the same fountain. We want to go to the same shopping centers. We want to go to the malls. We want to sag your pants like a homosexual. Like a homosexual fashion which you're wearing. You need to wake up to your nationality and keep these commandments. You black and Hispanics and Native Americans, you will be judged if you don't have to come back to keep your commandments that was given to you and only you. Give me a, a proper Let's start at one. <clears throat> The understanding that you are, uh, you're getting today has not been taught in the earth over 500 years. Today, Phoenix and Arizona will understand that they are, that the blacks and Hispanics that are slaps in the ghetto are the Israelites the Bible speaks of. They are not, Negroes, Negroes not found in the Bible. Black is not found in the Bible. Mexicano is not found in the Bible. Dominican is not found in the Bible. You will not find those nationalities in the Bible. You will understand that you are a child of God, and not everybody is a child of God. Only you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans will rise up to the nationality and understand who you are. Is that Proverbs 3, verse 1. My son, forget not my law, but let thine hearts keep my commandments. It says, my... my Forget not thy law. But if the black and Hispanics have forgotten in slavery, the reason why they put you in slavery and in shams is so you can forget the laws of God. So you will not keep the commandments anymore. So you are you are you are you are uh, very outside your race. You will hate your skin. You will hate the, the texture of your hair. You will hate everything about you and want to be like the so-called white man. You black and Hispanics and Native Americans are one nation. I'm going to say it again, near Arizona. You black, Hispanics, and Native Americans are one nation. Right. We have been conquered, destroyed, and set apart by the so-called white man. You have been, 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 been in slavery, have been set up to behave yourself, to separate yourself. Hmm. Verse 2. For length of days and long life and peace, they shall add to thee. Long life and peace. That's what we're looking for, but guess what? We die in what? Our people are in, in, our uncles, our, our grandfathers, our grand, grandmothers are in the hospitals dying of heart disease, blood disease, cancer, all kinds of diseases because you don't want to keep God's commandments. You want to eat swine, you want to eat pork shops. That's a sin according to God, to eat bacon for the black man and Hispanic man. You want to eat carnitas. You want to eat pig feet and hog mouth and shrimp, lobster, crab. That's why you that's why you are being put to death. You teach it to your young children to eat mariscos. It's a sin to eat mariscos according to the Bible. It's a sin to eat pork, shrimp, lobster. Hold on, let's look at that law. Because they, they may think I'm just saying that out of my mouth. We really understand today that you black and Hispanics and Native Americans are God's chosen people. And these laws and statute commandments have been given to you and only you. Leviticus chapter 11 verse 7 And the swine, though he divided the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. Of their flesh ye shall not eat. That's right there. The swine is a so called today as a pig or pork, as they call it, the new white meat. It's a sin for you black, Hispanics, and Native Americans to eat. I'm going to say that again. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, it is a sin for you to eat pork. It's a sin for you to eat swine. That's that says the Lord. Out of the Bible. 
who are in the King James Bible, and your pastors do not read the Bible as they should. They want to talk for 15, 20 minutes and not read one scripture. But we're here to say, thus says the Lord, who the Proverbs 3, verse 3. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. It says to bind them around thy neck and, and put them in your heart. Your heart, according to the Bible, is your mind. Let's get that. Do you understand that your heart, the commandment thing is your heart is emotional. Oh, I love you. Oh, I heart you on a text message. It says to put them in your heart. What are these laws and commandments are supposed to be? They're supposed to be in your heart. Let's see what the heart is according to the Bible. Mark chapter 7, verse 21. For from within, out of the hearts of men, proceed evil thoughts. The evil thoughts, where do they come from? Do they come from, from the, 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 that thing pumping blood into your system? No, it doesn't. It comes from your mind. So you put, put these commandments, the law of statute commandments, in your mind. That is the heart according to the Bible. Read. Robbers, the black powers. We're reading all the way to five. Proverbs 3, verse 4. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. You will find sight and favor when you keep the commandments. But you so-called blacks and Hispanics are hated today in these, in these streets. You are hated because you do not keep God's commandments. You black and Hispanics and Native Americans are God's chosen people. You are not African American. You are not black. You are not Mexican. You are not Chicano. You are not Mexicano. Those names are not in the Bible as nationalities. But you want to be equal. You want to call yourself American. America is you have American citizenship. You are not American. You are not you are descent from a so-called white man. These so-called white people are the true Americans. They come from America speech the speaking. They come they come from Columbus. Read. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. There is again, trust the Lord with all your heart. That means with your mind, by putting your mind, the commandments in your heart. Putting the stuff eating swine in your mind. Women, quit wearing pants in your mind. Men, quit shaving your beards in your minds to understand what you are according to the Bible. That you are an Israelite. We out here know that we're Israelites because we keep the commandments. We understand that. But we got a question, my man? I mean, you in the glasses, my man. You in the glasses. Sorry, you in the hat, the glasses. You got a question? You got a question? No, you got a question? What's your nationality? What's your nationality? I can't, I can't hear you. Come a little closer. Hispanic? You know what Hispanic means? Hispanic means that you are a, 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 a property of Spain. Who are the Spanish? To, who are the Spaniards? You're part of Spanish. You're part. You're, you're part of a, 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 a possession part. You can't be a part possession. How are you a part? How are you a part of Spanish? What's that? I can't hear you. The Hispanic is a product of Spain. The Spains are Caucasians. You are not Caucasian, are you? You're not Caucasian, of course. We understand that. But the reason why we call it Hispanic is because guess what? At one time, we were slaves of Spain. And we are still today. They're taking your mind. They're taking your nationality. They're taking your last name. The last names that we have now, Garcia, Hernandez, Ramirez, those names are slave names. That's a Caucasian Spaniard last name. That, that's, that, that's why the cock is down. You understand that? They, they want to change our last name that what you think you're descended from Spain, but you're not. 
We are Native Americans, we are Indians that were here in, 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 in this land before, before the Columbus came, before Hernan Cortez came. You're part what? You're part Native American, what, what side? Your dad's side, your father's side? Are both sides okay? Right here, look. If you are, if you come, are you still called a uh, uh, Mexicano? Or so, uh, your ancestors come from Azteca, you are uh, from the tribe of Izacar. But there's a thing in Mexican America. Mexican American is an invention. You cannot be Me Mexican American. Mexican American is an invention, just like uh, African American is an invention. To put you in a slave and make you think that you are a uh, part of this society. The only thing that you're part of this society is with your back that you were served in slavery, and that is it. This is this is this is this is half. Give me a number, Shepherd, uh, one verse eighteen. Let's see what the Bible says according to your nationality, where it comes from. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna give you one more scripture, one more scripture before you go. One more scripture before you. You get a flyer? Get a flyer, brother. Numbers 118. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month and declared, declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. They declared, the Bible declares your nationality according to your father. If, you, if your mom's white, your dad's white, you're white. If your mom's black, your dad's white, you're white. There's no such thing as half in the Bible. There's no such thing as three quarters African American, one fifth this, and six, six parts this. You're not. You are what your fathers are. Give me a, a Joe, a Joe Aiden Nate. This is what the Bible tells us to do according to our fathers. Because that's what we always look for. A lot of you, a lot of our boys and our women do not grow up for their fathers in their homes. Your dad, your dad smash and dash. Left, left your mom to raise you by yourself. That's why you're a homosexual. That's why you like to sag your pants and wear skinny jeans. Because you don't have a father that doesn't teach you. But you black and Hispanics and Native Americans will know who you are today. That you've been assimilated under the so-called uh, white man, the Caucasians. Read. This is what you should be doing according to your fathers. Read. Job chapter 8, verse 8. For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age, and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. Prepare your heart and search out your fathers. Who you are your fathers before the so-called white man came on this side of the land and destroyed you and called you uh, Native American, called you Cherokee, Hopi, Mexican, Azteca, African American, Black, Jamaican, Haitian. Who were you before the so-called Caucasians came on this side of the land? There were Portuguese Caucasians, the Spaniard Caucasian, the Dutch Caucasian, the French Caucasian. The Caucasian race came on this side of the land to destroy your nationality. And you want you happy because you got a day off on Monday for Columbus Day. You gotta be a damn fool to think that Columbus discovered America. He came to steal, rape, and robber. G give me a uh, John chapter 10 and verse 10. Understanding that what? That, that the so-called white man that came on this side of the earth to destroy. He came to do this right here. To put you in slavery. To put you on the work in the fields. Now that you destroy and think you're part of America, the gift destroys the eyes of the wise. Just because they give you a job. Read. St. John chapter 10, verse 10. This is what the so-called white man has come to America for. Or the, so or the Bible calls it as Oswald. Not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. To kill, steal, and destroy. That's what the Caucasians came on this side of the earth. We are still, we are standing right here on bloodshed land. This land does not belong to them. It was stolen by them. But they want to teach us in the school, and the schools and the churches don't steal. That shall not steal. They want to use the same Bible. That they came over here to steal and kill our people and, and put a, 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 a sodomite mindset on our child, on our, on our children. They want to use the same Bible to tell us, no, don't steal. We're going to lock you up. But yeah, this is stolen blood, bloodshed land. 
and put you in so-called blacks and, and slavery and the work the fields. In the Lamentations chapter 5. Understanding that guess, the, the Columbus Day is a joke. The so-called white men did not discover a damn thing. The so-called blacks were here, be, the so-called Native Americans were here already. The so-called indigenous people, you are already here, but you are assimilated and pushed into reservations, pushed into the slums in the ghetto. The slums in the ghetto, all they are is a, 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 a reservation for, for blacks and Hispanics. That's what they are. You want to get a couple of high, high sienda uh, of blacks and Hispanics to move out and live next to the white man and think that they succeeded. But yet, yeah, both of your people are still in the slums in the ghetto, in the projects. Wait. Lamentations 5 verse 1. Remember, O oh Lord, what has come upon us. Consider and behold our reproach. Verse 2. Our inheritance is turned to strangers, our houses to aliens. Our inheritance, what is our inheritance? Our inheritance is, is, is the so-called Americas. That is given to you by God to so-called Hispanics and Native Americans. But it's been turned to what? What does the Bible say? Our inheritance is turned to strangers. They were strangers when they came upon the side of the world. Strangers. And what happened to your houses? Our houses to aliens. Our houses to aliens. When the so-called white man came on the side of the earth, a.k.a. Columbus, a.k.a. Hernan uh, Cortez, Soto, when they came on this side of the earth, their houses were turned to aliens. They are the aliens. They are the aliens. They call us illegal aliens. They want to tell you where your green card is, where you are, where you're from. But the Bible says that your inheritance is here. The Bible says that you are the Israelites the Bible speaks of. I'm Elder Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join our UIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.